It was no surprise that Alistair Kutsia was named as the new South African national rugby coach on Tuesday, after months of speculation linking the 52-year-old with the Springbok job. He was unveiled as the man to lead the two-time world champions, an opportunity that he is relishing. First of all, I think it's a humbling experience for the opportunity that's been afforded. Massive honour. It has been a roller coaster emotionally, but uh, you know I'm happy that it's, it's out now and that we can start with uh, business at hand. The 2007 World Cup winning assistant coach certainly possesses the coaching pedigree and understands the intricacies of taking charge of such a diverse multicultural group of players in a time where transformation is of utmost importance to the country. It's not an issue for me, honestly. Um, like I say, this is South Africa. For a national coach, he has to understand that you're living in South Africa. I cannot come with the mentality as if I'm somewhere else. Um, it is unique, and I think that uniqueness must actually make us stronger. The former Stormers head coach will have the players based overseas at his disposal, and his first task will be to prepare them for the three-test series against Ireland in June this year, and he is looking to pick form players to do battle against the former Six Nations champions. I know the big thing in terms of readiness and prepared, preparedness is to have your best 23 players ready for that series. It's about being medically fit. Uh, players are playing really good rugby at the moment in Super Rugby. Have them in form at the time. And, and, and I'm sure, you know, we're starting the series at home, which is a big positive. The new Bok coach will have nine weeks to prepare before the visit of the Irish. He knows that it will be a stern test on the field, but it's off the field where the pressures will be even more demanding. Something that Kutsia says will not phase him too much as his focus is now on the box, taking them forward to the 2019 World Cup and lifting the Webb Ellis Trophy once again. CS2 Plessis, CCTV, Johannesburg.